Hello friends, in this video we will be synthesizing chrome alum that is chromium potassium sulfate. It is a double salt of chromium sulfate and potassium sulfate with 12 molecules of water of crystallization that is dodecahydrate and chromium in plus 3 oxidation state. Materials required include potassium dichromate which I had prepared in a previous video, sulfuric acid, ethyl alcohol and distilled water. Start by taking 9.8 grams of potassium dichromate in a dry 400 milliliter beaker and 40 milliliters distilled water in a measuring cylinder. Now we add the water into the beaker containing the dichromate to make the solution. Now we add 7.6 milliliters of 98% sulfuric acid with the help of a pipette slowly with stirring. This step is the acidification of potassium dichromate and is essential for the next step. By that time I will tell you something about the color of the salt. Potassium dichromate gives a nice orange color due to charge transfer from the oxygen to chromium which in turn causes chromium plus 6 to become plus 5 oxidation state that is the ligand to metal charge transfer. The electronic transfer absorbs greenish blue light and it leaves behind the orange light which is seen as the orange color for the salt. After adding the acid, give a good stirring and swirling to dissolve everything up. We can also give a gentle heating if you find something undissolved. If you find something undissolved even after heating you can filter the solution. Let the solution to cool down to room temperature and next step is addition of 6.3 ml ethyl alcohol. It should be added slowly in small lots. You can very well notice that there is a vigorous reaction taking place and it is extremely exothermic in nature. What's happening here is a redox reaction. Here the primary alcohol ethyl alcohol is getting oxidized into the carboxylic acid acetic acid also called ethanoic acid. Ethanol first gets oxidized to ethanol that is the aldehyde form then immediately gets oxidized to the acetic acid. The oxidizing agent is potassium dichromate which gets reduced to plus 3 oxidation state. It forms chromium sulfate and potassium sulfate and acetic acid is formed as a byproduct which you will now soon realize as your work area will be now having the smell of vinegar. Potassium sulfate and chromium sulfate will now combine to form the chrome alum. Now we will keep this beaker undisturbed for a week. By about 5 days we can see that crystals have started to form. We will keep this undisturbed for a couple of more days. After about 7 to 8 days most of the crystallization is complete. Now we decan the rest of the solution that is the mother liquor and collect the crystals from it. We can also try evaporating the filtered mother liquor for more crystals to form. After decanting the mother liquor we transfer the crystals of chrome alum onto a tissue paper. After transferring all the crystals onto tissue paper, we wash the crystals with ice cold water and alcohol in order to purify them. Finally, this is the final product that is the chrome alum which I will be storing. I also made an attempt on making a large crystal using a combination of potassium alum and chrome alum. I took 3.7 grams of potassium alum which I prepared in a previous video and pulverized it. I also took 0.4 grams of chrome alum which we just prepared. Then I transferred the potassium alum onto a 50 milliliter beaker and then I transferred the chrome alum into it. Now I added 15 milliliter of warm water into the beaker in order to dissolve both the alum. After dissolving it completely, I allowed the solution to stay undisturbed for 2 weeks and after 2 weeks you can see beautiful crystal is formed. The structure of crystal is that of potassium alum and color is provided by the chrome alum. You can see the octahedral arrangement of crystals and the purple color of chrome alum. After complete crystallization, I decanted of the mother liquor 
and I took the crystals onto a tissue paper in order to dry them. The crystals formed were not in a perfect geometry because I did not hang these crystals on a piece of thread but instead it formed underneath the beaker. Anyway, after taking it out from the beaker, I washed it in ice cold water and alcohol mixture and after cleaning them, I again transferred those crystals onto the tissue paper. After drying, I painted them with transparent nail polish and now it is safe in the hands. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments including this one. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved the contents of this video, do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my new videos.